We are continuing to work on area, and today we're going to focus on regular polygons. Get out your reference booklet, find the page we left off on. Your homework tonight is just your next preview note. It's pretty short, folks. It's like 11 minutes. What do you do with your extra like five minutes? Some of you are going to need an extra five minutes to finish today's lesson. You guys are going to need calculators on your desk. You guys at home, you're going to need calculators in about 10 minutes. So get those calculators handy. Can we do the basic trade function? Or do we need graphing? Mm, basic trade function is fine. Right. Yes, you are. Some of you have figured out we might be needing Sokotoa. Hmm. Yes. That is going to come back and haunt you guys quite frequently, just FYI. Ah, good deduction, sir. Very good deduction. Green cardstock is always helpful. That's why it's cardstock. In my reference booklet at the end of the school year, guys, if you just snap off the sides and hang on to the green, all of the cardstocks, you're in pretty good shape. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, the backside blue cardstock is every equation in geometry. Yes, yeah, some of you haven't noticed that yet. Okay, guys. Um, we are going to this page, this page right here. Really glitchy. Yes, Mason, I am recording the session as we speak, ma'am. I am recording the session as we speak. I like you to write down how to find area of a triangle anywhere in that empty space, area of a triangle. All right, last time is, okay, in class, what times what over two? Right times right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so area of a triangle, area equals base times height, just put that right here over two. Now there's a reason why we're working with triangles here. This is a regular polygon, just physically trace all the sides, just trace it. Navia, regular means what, ma'am? Uh, regular means what? Oh, all, sides all sides are equal. So hatch mark it. Go ahead and draw in what I call the pizza slices. So co corner, center, center corner. These are called radii. From the corner to the center is a radius. So that you're familiar with. This word you're not familiar with. From the center to the midpoint of a side, that's called the apothem or apothem, depending on the textbook you use. So um, look very, very carefully. I'm glad you asked. Do you see how there's a circle around? See this circle? Do, 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 circle, 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 circle. If it touches the corners, the radius goes from the center to the edge of the circle. So that's called a radius. And it's exactly like a radius in a circle. This center to the midpoint of a side, notice it's not touching the circle. That's called the apothem. Slightly different. And it's important to know the difference. Thank you for highlighting that. So you can see here, when you do those pizza slices, that the area of that shape is just a bunch of triangles. Do you see that? And because Navia pointed out that they're congruent, all you have to do is basically find one triangle and then you multiply it around. Now that's the long way. There's actually a shortcut. Here's the shortcut. Um, I'd like you to trace that base. Everyone's doing this with me. You guys at home, trace the base. Trace that base. Keep going, trace the base. Trace the base, trace the base, trace the base. Addie, when we trace all the bases together, what is it of that shape, ma'am? Hi there, Addie. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Great. When I trace all the bases together, it's the what of the shape walking around. Starts the with the perimeter. Base. Yes, ma'am. So base, we're going to replace with perimeter. 
the height of this triangle, which is right here, the height of the triangle, Brianna, is also the what? Mm -hmm. So we're going to replace height with apothem over two. So you see how those equations are related to each other? And this only works, box the word regular. This only works if the shape is regular, which means all equal sides and angles. If it's not regular, everything goes out the window. Now put a little star by that word polygon. Because we're dealing with the polygon, put a little star here. This is gonna come into play. Start filling this out. This goes all the way back to January. Mm, you guys in class are my hostage. You're singing with me. The sum of interior angles, sides minus two times 180. The sum of exterior angles will always be 360. Each angle of a regular polygon, sum over sides, ain't this fun. The sum of interior angles, sides minus two times 180. Go to today's lesson. You'll see how this comes into play in just a moment. Find today's lesson. I'm actually going to shortcut by one problem. We're going to be bouncing around just a little bit. Here's the first page. I'd like you to skip the first page. Go to, yes, the one with the ants on it. Yeah, I know. They're in there for a reason. I'll explain why. Go to problem number one on page two. Problem number one on page two, folks. Problem number one on page two. It's right, uh, no, for you guys, it's on the right-hand side. You guys, problem number one? Okay, Taylor, read the instructions, please, go. Write, write out regular area equation, trace the perimeter, find the area. Sorry about that, I will fix the grammar, grammar there. So we're gonna write our area equation, which is area equals perimeter times apothem over two. So every time you see a gray box, that's what that equation's for. Always physically trace perimeter. Never use just your eyeballs. Let's trace, count the number of sides quietly. McKenna, what's our number of sides? Okay, so I'm gonna circle perimeter and my perimeter is going to be seven sides times 10 each side. Trace your apothem, 10.4 over two. You must have your plugins folks, that constitutes plugins. Now, you, yes, you can grab calculators from here you guys at home, text me your answer. You guys in class kind of like rotate and ask at least two people what they got. Go. Don't forget units, kiddos. If I don't provide units, use generic unit squared. You guys in class, check in with each other. You should be pretty close to done by now. Six, 
70 times 10.4, hit the equal sign. Got it, Joshua? Yeah. Good, Destiny? All righty, looks like that one was pretty painless. Let's backtrack now and do something that's slightly more complex. Go to the front of page one, please. The front of page one. Hermione, can you read that top sentence for us, please? The sum of the interior angles of a certain regular polygon is 1080. It has a side length of eight centimeters and, a, and, eh, and an apothem length of 9.7. Find the area. Thank you, ma'am. So our keywords here are the fact that we're going to have some of the <laughs> angles. That word polygon is, is quite important, 1080. Side length, eight centimeters, apothem 9.7. Step one, since we find, want the area, let's go ahead and write out the area equation. Perimeter times apothem over two. We've been given the side length, we've been given the apothem, but this word polygon tells us something that's really important. <laughs> Riley, what's really significant about the generic word polygon? Do we know how many sides it has? Polygon. That, that's a heptagon. That's a hexagon. Keep guessing. Okay, do you say, do you see the word? Here's a clue, a certain. At this moment, do we know how many sides it has? No. That's important. Okay, so guys, you might wanna make mental note. When you see polygon, you immediately do not know the number of sides. That's kind of a hint, all right? So we don't know the number of sides. That's obviously the first thing we need to do. But we do have, you guys in class, get my cue. The sum of interior angles. Good. Okay. So the sum interior angles. And this right here, folks, goes there. Solve for N, friends. Go. Solve for N. Yes, you can use calculators at this point. You guys at home, text me the answer for N. You guys in class, when you get N, ask at least one other neighbor what they're getting. You got it, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Nice job, Keaton. What, ma'am? You can divide out the 180 or you can distribute your choice. Yeah. Got it, Joshua. Got it, Hermione. That, that 180 is time. So either you're distributing the 180 or you're dividing it out. What'd you get? Uh, I got oh, uh, Where? We're not there yet. Okay. Good job, Sid, with the CM squared. We're getting there. Yes, Addy. So you guys figured out it is an octagon. So let's draw that real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop sign. We are told one side length is 9.7. We are told the apothem. Oh, I got that backwards. Bad girl, bad girl. I did not read with my finger on the paper. I was demonstrating what you should not do. There, side length, eight. Our apothem is 9.7. Now, circle plug chug, perimeter. We have eight sides times eight units each times our apothem, 9.7 over two. Go. After this, guys, go back to page two. You can skip this second problem. After this, go back to page two. You can skip this second problem. Text me your answers. You guys check in with each other.
Don't do the one on the bottom. Good job, you guys. Yeah, yeah, my dear, it's me. So like I, I multiplied, um, I, I did 8.8 .8 times 9.7. Yeah, and it was five decimal places. Okay, those of you who I'm giving you a great, go ahead, start working on pages two and three. I'm gonna let you work for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna regroup and do a little bit of page four together. Um, you guys in class, just to double check, we should be getting this. Yes? yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you are working now on pages two and three. Pages two and three. Sneeze. Did you get rid of that? Thank you, ma'am. A uh, couple of you seem to have got this wrong at home. So I'm going to go ahead and pull you in to a breakout room. If you get a link, please join me in the breakout room. I really appreciate it. Okay, students, click on the link, please. Click on the link. Uh, Miss White? Yeah, hi, let's do this together. Is it, there, it did, did I just sent another answer. Is that the right one? No, it isn't here. So that's why we're doing it together. Okay, and Mira and Srijay, I didn't see answers from you. So that's why you're in here. Okay. I'll just text it to you. Did you already text it to me? Yeah, I was texting it to you and I clicked enter and it took me to the breakout room. Uh, got it. Okay, so just go ahead and work on page two if you think you know what you're doing. We'll go over this. Okay. Uh, did you get? It? I just as if you were clicking it as I was setting up the breakout rooms, I didn't see it. All okay, right, I'll send it. Sid, do you understand where we got n equals eight? Yeah. Okay, so do you understand that how we got that as an octagon? Yeah. Good deal. Okay, so perimeter, what we do is our side length is eight. So we do one side length and then we walk it all around. So that's eight times eight, eight sides and eight units each. Times 9.7 divide by two. Can you do that now? Oh, I thought, I thought you had. I thought you were saying 8.8, .8, like you no, multiply. Eight, eight times eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I missed. That's the issue? Yeah, that kind of confused me. All righty. Mira, I didn't see an answer from you, ma'am. Did you get this finished? Oh, I typed it. You did? Okay. You must have gotten lost in the fray. That's fine. Just work on page two, ma'am. Sid, what'd you get, sir? Uh, I'm not done yet. Okay. Sweet Jay, just work on page two so you're not wasting time. Okay, I, I am right now, but I sent it to you. Can you check to make sure? Um, hang on. Uh, Sweet Jay, you're good. Mary, you're good. Thank you. I'll, I'll be there in just a second. Yeah, talk to, talk to each other. I just other. sent it to you. Okay, you're good, Sid. Start working on page two. Mm, yes. Okay, students, for the next 10 minutes, you are working on pages two and three. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to be giving you a little shove in the right direction for page four. Does that make sense, Tentman? Yeah. Yeah, good job. Thank you for helping. 
that whatever this number thing is times the size. Whatever. That's why you always physically trace. Never use your eyeballs. Trace the perimeter. That'll tell your brain how many sides you have. What's up? It's confirmed. Mm -hmm. So is the wall and the screw 36? Yes. Yes, it is. Good call. Good call. You were like way ahead there, young man. Yes, ma'am. Let's hang on. Let me just hit my timer here and we are good. And we'll do that together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Let me just hit mute so I don't. What problem are you on? The third one on the second page. You guys at home, I'm in about seven minutes. I'm going to give you a in the right direction on page four. If you got a link, click on it. Hi guys, I'm just checking Hello. on you, seeing how Hi. you're doing. I'm just randomly pulling a few people at a time into breakout rooms. You guys doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm on page two. I'm perfectly fine. Page, I'm so about to start page three. Good. Questions? Uh, no. Uh, none. none so far. Thank right. you. Sure. Thank you.
Hi guys, I'm just pulling chunks of student into a breakout room to see how you're doing. You guys doing okay? Questions? Yeah, I'm good. Jessica, Sid? I'm fine. All right. I'm good too. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, students, wherever you are at, bounce over to the last page because that's probably the trickiest. We're just going to go give you a little shove in the right direction here. So backtrack to page five. Uh, go to page five. Go to page five.
Okay, Joshua, read the first sentence for us, please, sir. Um, in the regular pentagon, the radius PM equals 2.35 centimeters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our radius. So this is 2.35. The minute you have a regular polygon and you're obviously not given anything else, you should start making your pizza slices. So make your pizza slices. That should just be a habit. That should be a habit. Uh, Kasi, taking a look up here. How many pizza slices do we have? If that's one pizza slice, how many do we have? Five. Fabulous. Okay, step number one. Mira, can you read that first bullet? Go. Uh, trace the circle, find the measure of angle, and PN. Okay, so go like this. Everyone physically trace that circle. And your first goal is to find the angle M, P, N, which is going to be the orange angle right there. Go. You've got 20 seconds to figure that out. Go. Kayla, what you got for that angle, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Kayla, that orange angle, ma'am? Right there, pizza slice. Oh, sorry, I thought you said Taylor. Um, I apologize. The orange one? Yes, ma'am. Um, MP. And Take a look. We got a circle here, right? Yeah. How many so pizza slices do we have? Five. Excellent. So what are we going to do? 360 divided by five. Fabulous. You got that for us, ma'am? Sorry, yeah, 72. 72 is great. Okay, step number one, the next step, Brianna, read the green. So now we're finding MPQ, which is that green angle. You've got 10 seconds, go. Three J, what is that green angle, sir? Three J, what's that green angle? I'm a little behind right now. Okay. Well, this whole thing's thirty. This whole thing is seventy-two. So I'm asking, what would this guy be? So how would you do that? That'd be thirty-six. That is correct. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that thirty-six over here for a reason. That's thirty-six degrees. This right here is your radius 2.35. You need the apothem right there. We are gonna call this X and you're gonna need this side length right here or half side length. We're gonna call this Y. It's been a while since you've done this folks, but in this case, Y is going to be the opposite. X is gonna be the adjacent. And this is going to be the hypo. I'm going to help you set up for X, and then I'm going to kick you loose here, folks. Have, need, do. For X, we have the hypo, which is an H. We want the adjacent, which is A. And you ask yourself this, what goes with ah, ah, uh-huh, cosine, ah. Sorry, those of you at home who weren't expecting that, probably scared you, that's okay. So it looks like this. Cosine theta over one equals adjacent over hypo. Cosine 36 over one equals adjacent, which is our X, hypo 2.35. Remember, do not touch that calculator until that variable is completely isolated. Once you solve for X, solve for Y, you should see that in order to get the side length, you actually have to double the Y. 
Okay, guys, so that's a little push in the right direction for the last page. See if you can't finish and check your work on your own, folks. Uh, when the bell rings, you guys at home, I will happily stick around an extra 10 minutes to help you out. Yeah. Tenth, tenth place is always good. Tenth place is always a good choice. Bye, King. Riley, are you done, buddy? You can check your work, sir. You check your work, ends up. Don't turn it in if you didn't check it. Yeah. What's the point? That's called busy work, which is a waste of your time. Nico, buddy, what's up with your buddy? Oh, I finished. Oh, you're done, done? Yeah, I'm done. Then you ask permission if you want to start your preview notes, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yes, you may. Thank you. I'm sorry, Sunise, you had a question? What do you mean? In what sense? What'd you get for X? Sorry, okay, are you using my calculator or your cell phone? Well, I have to go on the computer and my phone. My calculator is actually Okay, I will hang, hang on. I just got mine back. Okay, so first off, can you see this? You get it, need to get X by itself. So I go like this. It's going to be cosine 36 times 2.35 is going to give us the value of X. You okay with that? What I just did? Yeah, that's the weird part. It's. Yeah, it just, it's just, we're going all the way back to what we did in January, that's all. So give me a second and I'll give you my calculator. Okay, now, so on that calculator, you're gonna go cosine 36, hit enter, times 2.35 now. Enter. What do you get? That is correct for X. Ta -da. Now let's set up Y. Y is O and H. OH. What goes with OH? In sine, cosine. Mm -hmm. You're correct. So, hang on. No, don't, don't. Remember, you don't touch a calculator until you've set it up. So that's going to be sine. 36 over okay. one equals opposite y over the hypo, which is 2.35. Guys, I'm sticking around because we're still working on this last problem. You're welcome to stick around with me if you need to. Okay, what's next, Sunise? Y equals what? Times? 2.25. Yes, ma'am. Is it 2.25 or 3.5? Did I get that wrong? I start. Call. Oh, it's 3.5. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad, girl. So you do sign 36, hit the answer sign. Bye, guys. Oh, boy, thank you. You bet. And then times 2.35. Great. Now times by two. You bet. Um, this way. Yes, sir. What's up? I got um, 1.38. Well, yeah, that's fine. That's 1.4, technically, right? But ultimately, you need this side length. So that's going to be your side length is 2.8. Sinise, do you okay. understand that side length is 2.8 there? So how do I get 1.4? Because I got 1.38. The round? Round to the 10 splits. OK. Do I just yeah, try now. You OK Thank with you. that, Sinise? Okay, so your your calculator is just out of battery. Is it just out of? Is that what it is? Uh, show. Let me see if I have the charger. I might have an extra charger in my drawer here. Brianna, you doing okay, ma'am? Yeah. 